Hi everyone, welcome back. It's the Louis Vuitton Princess and today we have a very exciting video. So a lot of my videos prior to today on my YouTube have been kind of serious videos, um, but today I'm going to be filming a video that's a lot more fun. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram already, that's okay. Um, head over to Instagram and follow at the Louis Vuitton Princess. Um, and that way you can stay a bit more up to date on what I'm doing, what sort of things I'm getting in, get the scoop on what I'm going to be doing unboxings like this ahead of time, and so on and so forth. If you're interested in purchasing authentic Louis Vuitton from me, feel free to head over to shop LV Princess on Instagram. Instagram. So today I am really excited and I don't really get excited that often. So I'm very excited. Um, so this is my first handbag purchase of 2022. This is my first unboxing video of 2022. So this is especially exciting just for that. I always love to keep track of, um, which bags I buy in a year, which bags I sell in a year, so on and so forth. Um, and unboxing videos are a way that I usually sort of guide myself in going about that. So I am very excited. Let's get ready to jump in. So this is the item I purchased. Kind of a weird box. If you're newer to Louis Vuitton, this box is probably not familiar. And if you're familiar with Louis Vuitton, this probably gives you some sort of indication of what is inside. This is an older Louis Vuitton box. Um, this is 2000s Louis Vuitton. Um, so this is an older box. Um, so that should give you some sort of indication that this is a, a vintage 2000s sort of item. So if you follow me on Instagram and you know me pretty well at this point, you know that I love limited edition Louis Vuitton. So I made a decision a couple years back to sort of transition my... Um, collection from just sort of being a more baseline Louis Vuitton collection, you know, the Neverfulls, the Speedies, whatever. And I've slowly made the transition to having a fully limited edition collection. And this is another one of those pieces. Um, this is a piece that I wouldn't necessarily say is coveted, um, but it is very pretty and everybody sort of likes it. It again, it's not for everyone. So if you don't like it, that's fine which you don't like, I love. Um, so this item is not on my wish list. So I have a wish list on my Instagram. It's not on there because it's one that sort of has jumped on and off my wish list over the years. Um, so let's take a look. I'm gonna open this box and I need to use both hands because the box is really weird. It doesn't have a pull tab. And like I told you guys, it is older bag. Um, the person who I brought this bag from said they only carried it like a handful of times. So it's in really good condition. So let's go ahead and take it out. I'm so excited. So for those of you who are a bit more familiar with Louis Vuitton, you probably have some guesses as to what it is just by looking at the shape. But let's go ahead and take a look inside. So the big reveal, my first um, Louis Vuitton handbag purchase of 2022, I'm so excited, is the, had to flip it, Louis Vuitton limited edition cherry blossom papillon 26 so this is a super cute bag like i said it's one that has been on and off my wish list over the years um so as you guys know i am a huge papillon fan if the word papillon does not really mean much to you um you can refer to it as a barrel bag that's the sort of bag style for this um so I actually have three Papillons in my collection now. I have this, which is my Cherry Blossom Papillon. I have my Yayu Kusama Papillon NM. And I also have one of the few non-limited edition, just sort of traditional bags I have is, I have a Papillon, um, a vintage one, I think from 1995, in Zomier Abin. 
But today we're gonna talk about this one. So let's jump over because as you guys know, um, one of my other recent gifts I brought for myself, um, not a bag, but still a Louis Vuitton related gift was this hardcover book here. It is called Louis Vuitton Art, Fashion, and Architecture. I got this one for really cheap because, like, it's honestly not really in the best of shape. These are what people call coffee table books. Um, so most people prefer to buy them in really good shape. I don't really care because I use them more so for, like, tracking and educational purposes. So I don't care too much. Um, but either way, we're going to open up to page 296. So this is absolutely beautiful. This is probably my favorite page in this whole book, 296 and 297. So on 296, we see the Papillon 26 Cherry Blossom like I have. And then on the other side, we see the Papillon Collection. So up top, you have the Pauchette Accessories. Beside that, you have the Mirror Case. You have the International Wallet. Um, you have the Sac Retro and the Papillon at the bottom. So this is an absolutely beautiful collection. I am a big fan of this collection. For those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you know I'm a huge Takeshi Mirakami fan. Um, so yeah, so this collection released in something like four prints. Um, there's the print I have, which is the traditional monogram with the cherries um, on top. There's another version that's like in the book here, the wallpaper. It's a pink monogram with the flowers on top. There's a third version, which is kind of weird. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's like a dusty excuse me, it's like a dusty yellow gold sort of monogram with red flowers on top. And then there's like a super limited edition um, style that's like a silk, it's like a grayish brown silk. There's like some lizard trim. There's a lot of funky stuff going on on that one. Um, but I'm a big fan of the more traditional monogram um, with the pink flowers on top. So I have one other piece um, from this collection already. I don't have it with me, unfortunately, but I have the pochette accessories. Um, my pochette accessories I got for a really good deal. I paid, I think, $425 for it, which is a really good deal. So I brought it right before they got really high. So in the past couple of years, all of the Murakami stuff has gotten really, really high. Um, so when I brought my pochette accessories, I paid $425, which is a good price. Now, sometimes you see them for $800, sometimes even higher than that. So I was really happy with the price I paid. This bag I did not get such a great price on. Um, it's like I tell people my bag purchase just this kind of balance out like I get a lot of really really good deals um you know I found Louis Vuitton bags for a hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred so it's like I typically get really good deals in my bags but it's like sometimes you just don't get them so this bag I paid 11.25 for I mean I still was happy with it because the seller originally had it listed on a platform for about 1800 I contacted them directly and was like hey can we negotiate a little lower off platform and it worked out so the picture here, this display, the pink one. So it says, Windows of Maison Louis Vuitton Champelis for the launch of the Cherry Blossom line, March 2003. So that is where this super fancy display was. So I actually didn't realize this collection launched in 2003. I guess it makes sense that it lost, uh, it launched in 2003 because most of the Mirakami stuff did. I don't know, for some reason I thought it was later. So I guess Mirakami was really on a roll in 2003. So this is the bag. As you can see, it's in very good condition. Um, the handles are still stiff even. Um, it's in what I would call gentle, it's like, excellent used condition is what I would call this. Um, so it's very pretty. The Vachetta actually looks a bit darker on camera than it is in real life, but let's take a look at the bag. So 
This is one of the sides of the barrel. I really like that it has a lot of the flower characters featured on this side, very prominent. The other side, less prominent, um, but that's okay. I still like that the one side has a lot of them featured and I love the little petals everywhere. So one of the big reasons I was pressed about buying this particular bag, again, like a lot of the Mirakami bags, um, the canvases sort of vary a bit. So the placement that you get might be different. So I really liked the placement of this bag, of how there's like some diagonal big flowers here, some big flowers on the ends, there's petals in the middle, and the top has three big prominent flower characters. So I really liked the placement. Um, on this bag and in typical Mirakami style this bag features a bow which is really cute and also in Mirakami style there are lots of studs um, which I love the studs some people don't but I really do and again the placement on the back I really enjoy I love that there's some prominent flowers on the back there's some nice petals so this is a collection like I said it's very placement heavy for me like and it's like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like, trust me, just go on to Google right now and search like Cherry Blossom Papillon. You will see a bunch of them and you will see that they all have different placements. Some are more favorable than others. Um, with that being said, even though the price for this was a bit high for me because I'm a deal finder, it still was a very good price comparable to some of the other prices I found. Like Fashion File has a couple of these right now that are around like 1200 1400 and they are not in the condition that mine is in or if they are in good condition they don't really have good placement so that's just my opinion so this bag has a snap opening so there's two snaps at the top two snaps at the bottom and the maiden stamp here so this bag was made in France so it's currently stuffed at the moment um which is good. I'm glad the seller stuffed it. Very important for the bag to keep its shape. And this is the barrel. So it is a barrel bag. Um, honestly, some people don't like this. I really like this. I like that the whole bag is very open to me. Everything is very accessible. I like that this whole front part opens. You know, I really hate having bags that I have to sort of dig around in versus the traditional papillons are a zipper um and you know since they're a zipper they don't necessarily open all the way so like with this one here sometimes there's digging involved and that can be a slight pain in the butt but i deal with it um so i really like this style i really like the more open barrel style now i'm curious to find the date code on this piece I honestly should have probably looked for it before I started filming. I know it's here, but I'm on a tight schedule today, so I wanted to make sure I could get this filmed and up quickly. I'm not seeing it just on first glance. Usually I find date codes very fast, but this is a piece that's sort of new to me. Um, so I am having a little trouble locating it, but that's okay. I'll add it in the comments. I wanted to add what year this bag was. Um, again, it's like the collection came out in 2003. I don't know if it's like the series collection because there's the Louis Vuitton series or cherry collection. That collection came out and it, it came out in 2005 and it basically only came out in 2005. So I'm curious if this was a 2003 only collection. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a 2003 only collection because there were not a whole bunch of bags that were made. Um, like I showed you guys earlier, there's the Papillon, there's the Sac Retro, there's the Pouchette Accessories, there's a wallet, a coin purse, a mirror, an umbrella. So like there really were not a whole lot of pieces made in this collection. There were only, to my knowledge, the three bags that were made in this collection and a couple accessories. So I wouldn't be super surprised if this bag was a 2003 only bag, but I want to confirm that. So anyways... 
I don't want to make this a long video um because I have lots of stuff to do today but I wanted to film and I wanted to film while I have good light because I'm sitting under my skylight right now which I absolutely adore my skylight because everything looks so pretty under it so I wanted to make sure I could film in good lighting and before I do go take care of some other less exciting things than this but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like the Papillon 26 Cherry Blossom. Maybe this video will encourage you to go buy one. I hope it does. And as always, um, for more of my Louis Vuitton collection or to chat with me or just keep up with what I'm doing, what I'm buying, feel free to follow me on Instagram at the Louis Vuitton Princess. And if you're interested in purchasing authentic Louis Vuitton items, feel free to follow me on Instagram at shop LB princess. Bye.